Okay, so at some point it does make sense, but it might be a multi-year journey to get there unless you can really bridge the gap and use some of our other trade secrets and, and, and other ways that we can show you how to monetize your channel, even when you're really small, fresh, and brand new just out the gate. That's right. And I also wanna talk about the length of your videos because that does affect your ability to monetize. If you have a video that is 10 minutes long, it opens up a new uh, feature for a mid-roll ad which means you can go through your video and pick any place you want and insert an extra advertisement. What that effectively does is it almost doubles your AdSense revenue because people will watch an ad at the beginning and then they'll watch another ad during the video. So for that same video, you know, you, you create a little extra content to make the video 10 minutes, but you can get twice as much AdSense revenue, which really helps make your time into the video a lot more effective. And it also opens an option for an end roll ad. So at the very end of the video, if people are still watching or leaving their device rolling, it can play one more video at the end as well potentially. All right. The last ad option I want to talk about is called overlay ads. As you're watching a video, there'll be like a little red bar at the bottom. And when it hits that, you'll see a little banner pop up at the bottom of the video. And usually you just click that to get rid of them. Those are the lowest paying ads, but they're also the most non-obtrusive for an audience. And through experiments that we've done on our channel, we haven't really noticed a drop off rate on the view of the video. If we put more ads or different placed ads, it seems like the watch time is the same. The audience hasn't really kicked back or or complain too much. So by putting more advertisements on the videos, we've generated more revenue, which has allowed us to grow as a company, bring on more help, produce new videos, a lot more content and benefit from it. So Grant, what are the differentiators that really determine the difference between the high end and the low end payout options? That's a good question. There are a lot of factors that, that jump into this. One would be Google preferred. Um, this is set up for the top of the top of the top of YouTube channels who are generating consistent watch time for large, large audiences. Also determined to be family friendly and advertiser friendly, which is very important because if you produce a video and YouTube doesn't consider it advertiser friendly, your video will be demonetized, which means even if you get 10 million views, you won't be able to generate any revenue for that from AdSense. Now, if you look at some of our other videos, we can show you how to monetize without AdSense. But if you're in it for the AdSense, you need to be aware that it's always a risk. Your video can be demonetized without you knowing it and at any given time. And demonetized basically means YouTube says we're pulling the plug and we are no longer sending you a check at the end of the month. That's right. Now, Google Preferred puts you in a category where you actually make premium advertisements. So these are, I guess, the blue chip companies out there, the biggest companies with the big biggest budgets. Their advertisements are reserved for your channel. And then if you're using the pre-roll ads, you can actually make you know, pretty decent money uh, for AdSense. Um, because of the types of ads that are being served. Now, there are so many YouTube channels, so many videos being made, Google may not have enough ads for all the channels and all the videos. So as it goes down the line, there may be channels that are monetized, but they don't have any ads playing. So it's really subjective as to if they're gonna make any money or not. The other thing is, you know, if people actually click on the ad. So if they're watching the ad and they click it and they go and buy something from the advertiser, that's gonna ge generate a higher revenue for Google and they're gonna do that split and you're gonna you know, have a higher pay-per-click or a higher P a CPM on your channel as a result. Awesome, wow, a lot of big words, but uh, hopefully you understand the, the much bigger picture here that this AdSense thing is real. It's something that can pay you. In the beginning, it's not gonna be a whole lot of money, but if you're really long-term committed, in time it can become something. Mm -hmm. Grant, if you had to go back to the beginning and do it all over again, and you weren't just relying on AdSense, are there other methodologies out there where you can actually monetize your channel way quicker? If I were to go back to the beginning and do it from scratch, I think I would absolutely have some kind of a product and a system in place to allow people buy something from me. Because when you do the math on this, if you have a thousand people watch your video, you can probably expect to make one dollar on your video. And now imagine a thousand people watch and at least one of them goes to your shop and buys a t-shirt where you make about ten dollars profit. If you think about that in context, from AdSense perspective, you would have had to have ten thousand views to make that same ten dollars. But you did it with only a thousand or maybe even less. Maybe you did it with a hundred viewers. Well, and I know so. that on my channel with the money that we're cranking out and making on it with the information that we make available and the services that we provide, I would probably, I would need millions of views to make mm -hmm. the equivalent of what we're doing with our 60,000 subscriber channel that we currently have. So the reality is there are a lot of other approaches, but it's so important to have a good foundational understanding of AdSense. And Grant, I want to thank you for helping give that foundation. Yeah helping us understand the way it works. Check out some of our other videos that will show you far more aggressive monetization methodologies so that mm -hmm. if you're brand new, just kicking out the gate 
in your first year, you could actually have a deeply profitable channel. These are some of the systems that I feel if I were to go back to the beginning and start again, my channel would probably generate 10 to 100 times the profit that it has generated. And I have been very happy about the profit we've made through AdSense, but I feel like there's been a lot of money left on the table because of opportunities that we didn't spring into, mainly out of ignorance because they didn't know how to get started. So you know what? You learned it right here from Grant Thompson. Go ahead and take action on that. And if you want to know how to actually crank that into high gear, join us on our website or check out the link in the description below where we can go ahead and get you rocking and rolling. And as always, remember, subscribe, ring that bell, and we've got more information coming your way tomorrow. See you in the next video.